Hi guys, uh, today we're going to take a look at using webhooks to link services to Discord. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new webhook in Discord. Um, to do this, let's open up Discord, uh, right click on the server icon and choose server settings and then integrations. Um, if you don't have this option, by the way, um, you might not have the permissions. Uh, so either create a new server or reach out to the admins. Um, but yeah, once you're in, um, you can see I've got a button that says create webhook. So I'm going to go ahead and well click that because we want to create a webhook. Boom, one webhook created. Um, now while we're here, we can add a bit of style to the webhook. Uh, this is the default style, but you can change it by uh, sending data in your webhook content. Um, if you want to know more about that, check out the Discord docs. Um, and yeah, once we've done that, I'm going to click save and grab the webhook by clicking copy. Uh, now that we've got the webhook, let's head on over to Ift to create our applet. Okay, so I'm going to add a Twitter trigger, but Twitch is also a great option if you're into sending webhooks to Discord. Um, you can maybe trigger when you go live on uh, on a stream, for example. But um, today I'm going to stick with Twitter, um, and I'm going to trigger this applet every time our fearless leader, Lyndon, uh, tweets. Um, now that I've got the trigger set up, it's time to add an action. So we're going to search for the webhook action, and yep, select that. And here we're going to add in the webhook URL that we copied earlier and set this to a post request. Now, really important part here. Um, we're going to set the content type to application slash JSON. And Discord does uh, support other content types, uh, for example, multi-part form content, um, but we don't support that on if right now. So yeah, we're going to select application slash JSON. And Again, it's really important that you set this correctly um, because your webhook will fail um, if you don't do this right. And it can also cause you some other issues further down the line. Um, so with that out of the way, uh, let's add the body of our request. Um, now this is where the message content goes. Um, I'm gonna keep it really simple here. Um, but if you want to know more about the types of thing you can add, um, there's uh, Discord documentation, um, which has just about everything you could need. Uh, definitely check it out. I can't stress that enough. The Discord documentation is great. Um, okay, so yeah, you can see here, I've added my curly brackets. Um, I've got my content, uh, add a colon. And then before I add the uh, the text from the tweet, I'm adding some quotation marks. I'm gonna put my tweet in those quotation marks. And this is something, again, that's quite important. We want to make sure this is valid JSON format. Um, if you don't have those quotation marks, that could cause your output to fail. Okay, so uh, got that all set up. Uh, going to complete the applet, uh, save it, and head on over to Discord and wait for a tweet. Boom. Okay, great, so that's our webhook set up and serving content to our Discord. Um, I'm gonna leave you a few tips here just to make sure that you uh, get the setup right, that you don't run into any errors uh, whilst you're doing this. So number one, uh, I mentioned this before, make sure that the content type is set correctly. Um, now this is a really simple one, but it's also really easy to overlook simple things. We've all done that from time to time. Um, so yeah, this helps make sure that you're not going to uh, send an invalid request uh, to Discord. And if you send a, a bunch of invalid requests, um, your webhook's going to be, uh, be limited. You're going to be hit with an invalid request limit. Um, so we want to avoid the, uh, the chances of that happening by making sure that our, uh, our content is set correctly. Okay, so uh, number two, um, similar idea here, uh, JSON content. Make sure it is structured correctly. Um, if you have any brackets or any quotation marks, make sure that are properly terminated. And what I mean by that is if you open up a set of brackets, make sure that you close that set of brackets. If you open up some quotation marks, make sure that you have a corresponding close um, to that set of quotation marks, for example. Um, so yeah, and then uh, number three, uh, this isn't just for Discord, by the way, this is for pretty much any service um, that you're sending webhooks to. Uh, make sure that you're doing everything within the terms of service of um, the, the service that you're sending webhooks to. So Discord has uh, really generous request limits. Um, they've got really great terms of service, but you know they are a, a separate company and they have rules that you need to follow for Discord, just like there's rules that you need to follow uh, for using Ift. And that's the same for any, um, basically any server, uh, any service that you're sending webhooks to. 
Um, I know this is a bit of a boring one, but if you don't have your webhooks limited, you've got to make sure that you're abiding by the terms of service um, when you're sending content by webhooks. All right, guys, uh, that's all from me this time. I'm going to leave a link to all of the documentation I used in the description of this video. Um, and hopefully that sets you on the right lines for creating your own applet connecting if to Discord. Um, if you want to see more about connecting applets to Twitter, uh, check out my friend Ben's video. Um, it should be somewhere in one of the corners, I think. <laughs>